stoked on that. Man, this pack. Holy crap. All the zigzagging paid off. I needed that. Oh my heck. What did I just walk onto? Should ride good. Uh, welcome back to Shed Tour 2020. Hopefully you guys have been following along. This has been a killer shed season so far. And uh, super excited for the next couple days. As you can see, we've got the Can-Am with the tracks. And I know it is hard to believe that there's a road underneath this, but this is a big old snow drift. And without the Can-Am and the tracks kit, no chance we're getting down here on our quads. So we're actually gonna go back down into the canyon we were in. We're gonna approach it with a little different angle and go off this little two track road and get high above our camp. And we have to get back down to camp. So this is our setup. We've got extra water. We definitely don't wanna run out of water. Um, a shovel just in case. We got the hiking sticks, the backpack, the camera gear, ratchet straps, lots of bungees. We got a little bit of a ride, probably like 40 minute ride to where we're going. So let's hop on this beast. The 570 V twin get to camp but uh we will be finding sheds today it's gonna be a good video we made it the tracks got us here oh i love this thing it's hard not to sit and wonder like what could have been done all these years of shed hunting with a machine like this. But we got to the destination, we're gonna park here. We're gonna actually drop some of our gear, which is for another day. We got some extra food and water we're gonna leave behind. We're gonna grab our packs for what we need to bomb down to camp and head down. I'm pumped, man. <laughs> it's gonna be fun. Frozen. Mmm, <laughs> sugar. I have way more food than I need, but that's never a bad thing. It's time, it's time, time to buckle up. Get your seatbelt on, ladies and gentlemen, because we're about to bomb into no man's land. <laughs> so, game plan he's going right, I'm going a little left. We're kind of taking different fingers down, and I'm gonna. Grab, I have one brown that's glassed underneath the cliff I never went to get. So I'm gonna snag that. New I'll game plan? Pretty much same canyon, different draw. Going down, and then I'll hit low, and then wrap around high to look for the big brown match. Yeah, we've kind of decided, as, as much as we want to go explore, it's like we have the biggest antler of this trip is possibly on the ground, and we have a good central location of where it's at, because I already found the other side. So that's the goal. Here we go, through the brush we go. <laughs> this is the jungle that we call Shed Terrain. And it's a mess. We've got some ultra fresh elk sign rolling through this brush. This steep, uh, steep rocky kind of oak hill side. If I had to guess, this is just gonna throw this out here. Because we have hit some of this country already, I mean, you can see how thick it is. We've already picked over what we call the gimmies, the easiest stuff, you know, the stuff you can glass, the stuff that's easiest to see. So we've already got that out of the way, and now we're rolling through here again. All we have to do is look on our Onyx map, look at our tracks, and seriously make a different track, take a different line each time, and you have um, new possibilities to find different sheds that basically you'd missed. So more glassing, more walking equals more sheds. Well, like I assumed, and like I said, it's always a good reason to uh, just double check everything, hit new lines, glass new country. I was just about to head down and really drop some elevation to get below these 
like rock bluffs. If I had to guess, I just looked over there, glassed, bingo. But it's most likely the match to the cheater bull. So it'll be interesting to see what his other side looks like. All right, I don't know if you'll see it. It's so hard to see on this little screen, but it's about dead center right now. That's the shed I'm going to get. And man, there's a lot of tracks on the way. So let's hope we find another one. Whew. Shot a little high of it, but just dropped down. Found it. Yeah, I'm guessing that's him. Same color. Uh, same size. The side we're looking for, I believe. The white lines are when I found it and where I'm standing, which I'm gonna mark my location and get it. Let's pick that up. Ah, nice. Oh, check it out. He kind of had a, something going on on his third on that side too. Sweet. It'd be cool to have the set anyways. Figured it was worth a try walking through here. Always feels good to pack in something. Pain in the butt when it's too heavy. Something like this will just make me feel like we got something. Including the brown I have glassed up, we at least have two today. Man, how cool would that be if that was a big old brown? <laughs> Dang. That thing's been there for a while, so it deserves to stay. See you later chalk shed by the cliff on we go good news is we got beds There's gotta be some brown somewhere old tracks old droppings definitely a good little pocket right here going up through this mess all right we are just about to walk onto the brown i'll tell you right now it's bigger than i thought let's go check this out Right up against this cliff face. Nice. <laughs> He's shed in like the easiest spot to glass. Six point. Brownie. Nice. Clean burr. Let's get the pick up for that one. That's cool. Today is a scorcher. I've got to get to some shade ASAP hot out here been sitting on the slope getting a little faded on that side real dark chocolate on the inside it's another nice white burr like we like them <laughs> finally working this freaking west slope we're calling it paid off I just about thought hey that looks like a good trail right there um, because the tracks almost look like they fade out a little bit right there look down through this hole that's a big old sword right there that thing's long it's skinny right there in the center sweet oh i knew there had to be sheds on this side i figured if i was coming back i just had to work the thick stuff i'm earning them but it's working ah oh, left side sweet well, there's the right side. Take a look at the first and seconds. Up to the third looks like it. But the back end sure is different. Enough waiting. Let's pick it up. Hmm. I don't think so. Wow. Nice pretty white burr. Well, that's good. Might be more mixed up in this mess. Finally found a brown on this messy slope. I mean, guys. This is all I'm working with. It's midday. Let's see what time it is. One o'clock. So time for a snack. I've been going for a few hours now and I haven't found anything. So there's a knob this way. I'll show you. There's a knob and a saddle that go out right there. There was a lot of elk sign going that way. And if Eric found a brown there, I'd imagine there could be a chance on that south face of that knob there could be a shed but right now it's snack time so I think I'm gonna go with this cutie since it's a little sliced open already and then maybe one of these fruit cups Jif peanut butter and a rice krispie treat 
and maybe even I might go tuna pack instead of peanut butter and then go with an almond butter instead so that's gonna be my lunch got the pack off gonna post up right here and try to just do some more glassing just on this ridge right here this way is where I found the big big shed we're looking for the match I'm gonna glass the opposite side of the canyon you never know some of these bulls uh, they'll pull over onto the other side it's funny how you kind of have a feeling when you're gonna find a shed I had a feeling <laughs> I was gonna find one on this knob. Pretty tore up, a lot of tracks. Where the elk have been working right here. We got a brown tines down. Broke on the G2, not big, just an average six point. But he's laying on a chalk, which is pretty cool. So, first shed of the new trip. Got a twofer. Got Mr. Chalk, which will stay, and then, the brown pretty skinny back there if I could just walk like right here here and then continue working that way I think I'll find another dang another chalk wonder if that's the match to the one up above not what we want today you can stay there mr. chalk man see ya through the jungle we go and that's exactly what I came down to the bottom for this right here is the spring. Heck, that's where it's coming out right there. Nice and clean water, need to fill it up. Then I got some tablets up at the backpack, so let's do that real quick. Give me some of that H2O. We're loading up. The biggest shed of the trip. We can't match it up. Sometimes that's like the way it goes, I swear. Find all these other side-by-side -side sets, these other sets 300 yards apart, the biggest one. Can't find it. But we must stay hydrated. Luckily we got some cloud cover, but it's still pretty dang hot. Home, sweet home. We're back. Look, Martin's big old heavy ones he left. I bet I'll pack those out this time. I'll probably pack those out this time. Ooh. Three for the day, ladies and gentlemen. Not what we wanted. We. We thought if we put in work, we could find more. Three's better than zero. One of them, this one I had already had glassed. But uh, it's all good, we made it out. All right guys, this is how easy it is to use the Hush Pyro Putty. You're gonna wanna take off a little chunk, like so. This stuff is uh, extremely flammable. Give you some time to, you know, get your kindling or pine needles, whatever you're gonna use to start the fire, like so. Keep building that up. And before you know it, you will have a fire. Well, a slightly different look headed back to camp than last time. Just one antler. I found, I think, five chalk that I threw into a trees. Um, just not worth packing out of here. So, headed back to camp. It is a little early, but we got our butts kicked. Found a couple, but not many. So we're gonna go back, rest up, fuel up, and climb out of this beast tomorrow and do a half day shed hunt in a little bit of higher elevation. Hmm, welcome. Oh, rough day. Dude. Chalker city and one brown for me. Yeah, oh. we didn't do what we, we dreamed of. Those suckers must be hiding pretty pretty tight in like a bush or something. Yep, we got the easy ones and apparently those were the <laughs> ones. <laughs> yep. On to new, better locations tomorrow, hopefully. Yeah, new ground tomorrow. 
for now we eat. So this this uh, one that Martin found looks like it's the match to my dark brown. Yeah, I'll pop it off. Yeah, check it out real quick. I think it was uh, just below where you found yours. Yeah. In a bed. Mine was in the jungle, dude. Oh yeah. Skinny bean boy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh uh, man, too bad my fifth is busted. He looks so much cooler with the fifth. Yeah, but then I, I don't have a GT. Yeah, that's true. He's all busted up. Let's what see the burrs. Mine's just white. That's what I thought was cool about mine. At least we can pull out your big old heavy chocks. Yeah. I mean, those things are heavy, dude. Now that I see them. Two years off of the same bowl. Yeah. In the same draw. They're so knobby. Like, that's an old bowl, dished out burr. I love yeah. the texture of him, but man, he just doesn't have anything after the front. Yeah. So honestly, the only reason I kept him is because of from here <laughs> down. He's kind of cool. Well, let's get some food and chill out. Amen to that. Mm -hmm.